Hey everyone, Valerie here, working on a home project, replacing burnt out um, MR16 sockets with new ceramic sockets. Also swapping out the old halogen hot bulbs with energy efficient LED bulbs. Let's get started. Two quick but very important things before we get started. Always turn electricity off before starting electrical work. I will switch off the breakers as well. My breaker panel is outside here. And I know these two, now they're on and now they are off. Those two are the ones that I want to switch off. The second thing is I am not an electrician. So please do not take any of this as professional advice. This is a diagram of a typical setup of an MR16 can light fixture in the United States where I am located. Note that US household electrical power is 120 volt alternating current. In this setup, there is a transformer up in the ceiling space that steps that 120 volt power down to 12 volts for each can light fixture. This is the two pin GU 5.3 socket that I will be replacing today. Here's a close-up of the sockets that I will be replacing today. Um, the socket, again, is where the bulb fits into. This socket you can see in particular, um, the heat of the halogen light bulbs actually fries the socket so that it no longer connects to the bulb and then it doesn't work. This is one of the new sockets that I will be replacing today. You can see that it's quite a bit smaller than the old socket style, although the pin setup is exactly the same. I will be swapping out the old halogen bulbs. This is a, the hot halogen bulb with a new LED bulb. Same pin setup as before. It's just an LED, uh, more energy efficient bulb. And I will also be including links in the video to all the products that I'm using today. I'm using my fingernails to pull the light trim and bulb out of the recessed fixture. You may need to use a putty knife or other flat metal object to get it started until you can grip the edge and wiggle the trim out. Next, grip the socket and wiggle the bulb and socket apart. Set the trim and bulb aside. Next, I'll use sturdy clippers to clip the wires to the old socket very close to the socket piece so that I will have as much wire as possible for making the connection to the new socket. There will likely be a metal braided sleeving surrounding and protecting the electrical wires. You may need to trim some of this sleeving back to expose at least one inch of wire. Now I'm using the wire strippers to remove about half an inch or so of the white plastic coating surrounding both electrical wires. I'm being careful not to nick or cut the metal wires, which could cause an electrical short. Unfortunately, I'm having to work very close to the ceiling as I have very little wire coming out of the ceiling to work with. Next, I'm twisting the ends of each of the wires and bending the last quarter inch back on itself to ensure a good connection inside of the ceramic terminal block. The terminal block is an insulated block that secures two or more wires together. There is the ceramic terminal block. I'm loosening two adjacent screws slightly to create space in the metal connection tunnels for the wire ends to be inserted. Next, I insert the wires into the adjacent tunnels in the block 
and then tighten the screws down. the replacement socket. The manufacturer clipped the white silicon sheathing and left the ends on for protection. I'll remove these and using wire strippers I'll clip off a bit more of the white sheathing. Again I'll twist the ends of the wires and fold about a quarter inch back over on itself to ensure a good connection. Now I will insert these two wires into the opposite ends of the adjacent tunnels in the terminal block and tighten both screws down. I've already attached the new LED bulb to the trim housing, so now it's time to plug the bulb into the new socket, tuck the wires and socket up into the recessed can, and slip the trim housing into the can. It may be a bit tricky to squeeze all three prongs up into the can at the same time. Just stick with it and you will get it. Switch your breaker back on at the breaker panel, and now it's the moment of truth. Will it work? Light switch on, and yes, another successful project. Thanks so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you.